Hi team, Snowflake Dan here with you. Today we're gonna to be covering over how to connect Azure SSO to Snowflake. We're gonna be doing this via Microsoft Entry ID in Azure, which used to be called Azure AD. So let's get to it. So here on the page, you'll notice we have a tutorial. We're gonna be using this tutorial throughout the process. This tutorial will be linked in the video's description. Let's get to it. So the first part is, is we want to go to our Azure. And from there, we wanna to go to Microsoft Entry ID and then to enterprise applications. So let's do that. So first we'll go to the top, we'll type in Entra. Then we'll wanna to go to enterprise applications. We'll wanna add a new one. From there, there's a lot of applications on here. So we'll just simply wanna look up Snowflake. And there we could select Snowflake for Microsoft Entra ID. We'll keep the default name and we'll click create. Great, let's head back to the tutorial while that's being created. And the next thing we'll wanna do is actually go to single sign-on and then to SAML. And from there, we'll wanna edit our SAML configuration. Great, so let's do that, single sign-on. Then we'll go to SAML. And then we'll wanna edit our basic configurations. And from here, we'll notice that we have two blocks here that wants us to enter in our, our Snowflake's URL. So let's do so. So where do we get that from? We actually wanna to head to Snowflake and I'm gonna lift my little bubble a little bit high. And we'll notice that we can go to our account, hover over our accounts. I have multiple, but in your case, you'll probably only have one. And you'll notice that there's a link button here to copy the account URL. So let's copy that and let's head back. And then from here, what we'll wanna do is we'll add our URL as it is for the first one or our identifier then we'll simply click in there and we'll paste it in there. Great, and then for the next one is the add reply URL. We we'll wanna click that again, but in this case, we wanna add the fed forward slash login part as well as the uh, pattern recommends. Perfect, so now we've added both of those. We can click save. And while that's saving, we can head back to the tutorial. And so once we've gotten our URL, we've pasted them in there. What we'll wanna do is actually copy our metadata XML file. This is gonna have a few uh, different things like a certificate and a few URLs that we'll have to add to Snowflake later. So we'll wanna go back to Azure. We'll click out because we noticed that it's saved and then we'll scroll down a little bit and download our Federation metadata XML file. So we'll click download and then we'll head back to the tutorial. Great. So the next thing that it says is that we want to make sure uh, that we add our user to the user groups. So we'll do that. So we'll select select and then we'll select our user and hit select. And then we'll hit assign. So let's go through that. So we'll want to go to users and groups. We'll want to add a user slash group. In this case, I don't have any groups. I simply have a single user. So here I've got my user and you'll notice the details here is that I've got my email. This email has to be the exact same email you have as your username inside of Snowflake. So if you go to your Snowflake account, you go to admin and then you go to users and roles, you'll have to have a user with the exact same email so that Azure and Snowflake can have that conversation to authenticate to that user. Great, so we'll select that user We'll hit select again, and then we'll assign the user to our group. Perfect, we'll head back to the tutorial. And then from here, we'll have a little bit of code that we need to add to Snowflake. And here it gives you a template of it. So this is what we need to grab, which is the URL with the stswindows.net. The next one is the login Microsoft online with the forward slash SAML2. So that's what we'll be looking for and then the certificate. And if you have any questions about this, you can always go to the example and notice that the example has what, what you're looking for as an example. And then a result if you wanna see what the result would be. So let's copy the setup code. So I'll simply copy that. I'll go to Snowflake. I'll head to projects and start a new worksheet. So here I'll paste in that code. And we'll notice we need to get those three items. And so we get those three items from the file we've downloaded. So if I go to that file and I hit open, I'm gonna utilize uh, Visual Studio's code to actually open this. 
and we'll see why in a second. So here, this is the XML file you're given from uh, Azure. And you'll notice it's a little bit uh, hard to read. So what I actually recommend in VS Code is to actually go and download the XML formatter uh, plugin. This will help us be able to format the code so that we could read it a little bit easier. So once you have that extension uh, added to your VS Code, you can simply select it all and click Format Document, and you'll notice that it formats it into a readable format. So like, like we said, the first thing we're gonna need is the uh, sts.windows.net, also known as the issuer, but I believe in the for file itself, it calls it the entity ID. So we'll simply copy that URL. We'll head back to Snowflake and we'll paste it into this string. The next thing we're looking for is something that has a forward slash SAML2. So if we copy that and we head to our document and we simply search and then we look for SAML2, we'll notice that we get a URL with the SAML2 at the end. We'll wanna copy that, head to Snowflake and do the same thing. And then finally, the last one is the certificate. So if you simply copy certificate, it's usually the biggest item, but we'll just search for it. And we'll see here, it's called the X509 certificate. We'll wanna copy that whole thing and go back to Snowflake. And we're done with the file now. So now uh, the last part to call out is that you can call the label what you want on the homepage. So once you log in, um, you'll be able to see that you could see this little string here that says Azure AD SSO. You could change that to whatever you want. So in my case, I'm simply going to add a little space here for Azure AD SSO. But again, you could call it whatever you want. So we'll select all of that and then hit run. And we've successfully created the Azure integration. Great. So what I want to do is actually sign out of my Snowflake account. I'll go back to the account itself. I want to just grab the URL because I only want to log into my account. And then we'll notice that we have a sign into Azure AD SSO. So if I click on this button, it will log me into my account as that user. So this has been Azure SSO to Snowflake. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.